The massive rise in the PSNI's use of stop and search powers was revealed by UTV late last year. Today came official confirmation that the number of those searches trebled in 2009. According to a policing board report, they carried out these searches more often in the northwest than in other policing board areas. Mark McFadden has the story. The PSNI's power to stop and search suspects is derived from anti-terror legislation. Section 44 of the Terrorism Act allows police to act without reasonable suspicion. It's been widely used in recent years as police seek to counter the dissident Republican threat and its use is increasing. In 2008, there were roughly 3,200 stop and search incidents, but last year the figure increased threefold to almost 10,000. The Derry and Strabane policing area had the most, 2,600. Then came East and South Belfast with almost 1,900. The lowest stop and search figures were in the Coleraine and Ballymena areas, just 231. The figures have provoked criticism, especially from Republicans in the North West. We met a lot of the human rights abusers out of the PSNI. I think that there could be individuals still within the PSNI with attitudes that need to be challenged, and I am the person who will do that. Human rights campaigners say stop and search is counterproductive. And it's quite clear, and we've seen it here in the Northwest, in Derry and Strabane, the impact of the widespread abuse of these powers has been to alienate people. We've seen it anecdotally, we've seen within communities, and those people that think that nothing have cha has changed within the policing structures are being convinced in that view through the use of these powers. The PSNI may view stop and search as a valuable weapon, but last week the European Court of Human Rights ruled that Section 44 of the Terrorism Act was illegal. And now the policing board is telling the PSNI that stop and search shouldn't be used as an alternative to traditional policing methods. The long-term future of policing in Northern Ireland is about hearts and minds. You've got to convince all of the people of Northern Ireland that the police service is there for them. And, and so you have to make sure that whatever tools that you're using uh, to tackle an immediate threat are not in the long term counterproductive. We've had some pretty, pretty bad things happen over the past uh, six months. Uh, bombs outside the policing board, uh, landmines, uh, gun attacks on police stations, pipe bombs, uh, undercar booby traps. The PSNI says it would prefer not to use stop and search, but it maintains it must have the appropriate powers to help counter threats from terrorism. Mark McFadden, UTV Live, Derry. Now for